and welcome to RB Models with Rick and Brandy. Today we're going to go through all the kits that we picked up when we went to the Model Con in Murfreesboro this last Saturday. Uh, we're going to go through everything we got, starting with uh, the Chevy C1500 Silverado from MPC Earl. Uh, we picked it up for $30. Yeah, this was the, the first kit that I bought with my own money in 88. Uh, I'm from Wisconsin originally. I bought it in Arizona. So it's kind of kind of fun fact there. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another one that we picked up was this. Uh, it's Monograms Jeep CJ7. It's a two-in-one kit. And... Uh, we paid $20 for and it's copyrighted 1993. The other one was copyrighted 1987. Yeah, I, I did this kit uh, in the 90s before and I really liked it. So that's why I decided to pick it up again. Because I don't have it anymore. So. Yeah, unfortunately, Rick's lost several over the times. Another one we picked up was AMT Earl's uh, Chevy C1500 Sportside. It's copyrighted 1990, and we paid 20 for it. Yeah, I, I, I did these. I had a couple of these over the years, uh, and uh, these are good kits to build. <laughs> the next one um, I pick, I really wanted because last time at the last show we went to, I picked up Ghostbuster one, but it was for the second movie. Well, this one's for the ghost for the first one, and it's Polar Lights Ghostbusters Ecto One, and it's a snap kit. Now we've never done a Polar Lights kit before. It's a snap kit, so hopefully it's hopefully yeah. decent. But I wanted it because we had the second one. I really wanted the first one. So, and when we saw, and we got this one for twenty dollars also. Monster saw this, really wanted to get it. She thought it was so cute. Loved the little trailer that came with it. And it is Revell's 1937 Ford convertible with trailer. And it's copyrighted 1994. We paid $20 for it. Or $15 for that one. Excuse me. And then we also got, and it's a snap kit. It's from Revell. It's the Record Trucker, Record Truck, um, and it's copyrighted 1994. We got it for $25. Um, we just thought it'd be something a little different to do for the channel. Yeah, I had a kit to wear this, but it was the blue version of it. I, I don't know what the difference is, but we were thinking about just putting like R&B towing on the side of it or something like that. Yeah. Something neat to... Just gonna make. try something new with it. So... That's all we picked up. We didn't find a... There was a lot of vehicles there, but it was not a, a huge selection of cars that are kits that we didn't have. It was a lot of planes and uh, yeah. tanks and... We're trying to be a little bit more selective or inventory so we don't get too much. Yeah, a lot of World War One and Two stuff uh, that we're just... We're just not interested. We just don't have the room for anything like that. But, um... And if you watch the the vendor thing, I kind of went a little fast in the, watching the planes because I'm not very interested. I like, After re-watching, I wish I would have slowed down a little bit. But. Next time, we're going to try me recording instead of Rick. He does it a little fast. I don't have a lot of patience, so... Yeah. So I'll try it next time. But this is all we picked up at this one. Hopefully the next one we'll get even more. Until next time, we hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.